Hey baddies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a simple baddie intro um, tutorial. I get so many questions on just editing my videos alone, how I get my music, how I do certain transitions, and um, the main one is how I make my intros. Um, so I decided why not just film a simple tutorial for you guys. Um, this tutorial, I'm going to be using um, these main apps. I'm going to put them on the screen. Um, I just have a folder here full of apps that I use just to edit alone, period. So if you want to check out some of these apps, then definitely do because I'm sure they could be super helpful. Wait, is this even? Oh, okay. It is recording. Um, <laughs> And yeah, so I'm sure that all these apps could be helpful, but today we're going to be using CapCut, um, Bazart, maybe Video Leap, and Eraser, PixArt, and Fonto. So those are, oh, and also PhotoGrid. So those are the main apps that we're going to use. So take a second to just pause this video, download it so you have all the apps available to you and you don't have to wait. And once you've downloaded that, um, just make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, turn on the post notifications, and subscribe before we get into anything because I will definitely be doing a lot more how-tos on editing and even just simple like YouTube tips, stuff like that for small YouTubers because I know a lot of people still edit on their phone and there's a lot of hacks that people don't really know about so some of the things i'm going to be showing you guys in this video definitely take into consideration when you're editing as well it's not just helpful for intros it can be helpful in editing in general so definitely take them into consideration and i will for sure be doing more videos on how to edit in just simple small youtuber hacks in the future so you want to turn on the post notifications so you can get notified for all those videos okay so second we just want to go to the photos um what i like to do is just make a folder first of all of the videos pictures and all the things that you're going to need for the intro so you don't have to go scrolling around through your camera roll to look for it when you're trying to import it into each app um what i like to do is just label it as um a just so that the folder or the album is all the way at the beginning of your albums and you don't have to scroll all the way down and look for it um yeah so this intro is going to be for a friend and yeah so i asked her to send me all of the pictures and videos that she wanted in the video and also what i like to do is get my inspiration first whenever i'm doing an intro for myself um i always Think about what theme I want. Do I want sparkles? Do I want butterflies? Do I want um, a nice, chill, like plain, aesthetically pleasing intro? Or do I want like a batty intro? That type of thing. So you want to keep that in mind. What is your inspiration for intros? And usually I'll get my inspiration just based off of like Pinterest or. Um, from YouTubers that I watch, if I see certain edits or animations that I like in their videos, then I will definitely add them into my intro and of course not copy their intro all the way because obviously people are going to know if you copy somebody's intro, so definitely do not do that. Um, funny story, I had somebody copy my entire intro and really thought that I didn't know. Anyways, um... Yeah, so <laughs> make sure you're not copying people's intro, especially if it's a popular person, because people will know. Um, but you can definitely take inspiration, take little bits of pieces of things and add it into one That's intro. If I like somebody's idea, I'll take, you know, little pieces of it and make it my own. So I definitely like to do that when I'm making my intro. intro, she sent me this video of an intro that she liked. And she also said that she liked my intro, so if you guys missed it, obviously you probably didn't, but I'm going to show you guys again. Um, this is what my intro looks like. And yeah, pretty simple. Um, four or five slides. 
and she also said that she likes purple silver and white so we're gonna try to incorporate that I already made this intro so I'm just gonna show you guys how exactly I made it so the first step that we're going to do we're gonna go to Fonto and then we're gonna press the camera and images and the color and I think I did this purple color right here and then we're gonna change the dimensions so 1280 by 720 and then press use so what you want to do is save this because this is gonna be our background I'm gonna go into cute or cap cut now you guys CapCut is a really good app for when it comes to animations don't get me wrong you can do so many different animations on CapCut and I'm so happy that I came across it because majority of the time when I do animations like for example like these things like these little stars and stuff like that or this stuff I usually will search it up on YouTube as a green screen and it usually doesn't come out as well so this app is really great for animations however I don't recommend editing on this app for your YouTube videos because honestly I think it's really hard to edit on and it's kind of annoying um, so when I can I just save and export it and import it into um, Video Leap because I find that that app is a lot better when it comes to editing. This is just strictly, I would say, for intros, um, it's not the greatest when it comes to editing. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. So we brought this we brought this picture into Cute Cut. Let me just delete that. And what you want to do, just delete this ending and extend it for however long. And then we're gonna add an effect. I added this effect. And then, and okay, so I added this effect. And this effect is pretty cute. I mean, I like the glitter and stuff like that, but it's pretty plain, you know? Like it just looks like a GIF. And I want it to be like more lively. So what we're gonna do is add another effect on top of that. And what was the I think I added I like this one I don't know what one I added before but I think that this one is better because it makes it more alive instead of just flat you see how before like right over here it's just flat over here it's more alive you know and that makes it look a lot higher quality and like you actually put an effort into editing this you know so that's what we're gonna add for the effect I'm gonna add to it more because I don't like how plain it is I'm gonna add this one on top I gave her between this option to choose from I got inspired from this one from Leah the plug she has really great intros so if you want some information on how to make intros definitely go check out her channel as well i'm not going to take credit for this because i definitely got inspo from her um i gave her that option at first and then i also gave her this one and this one is the one that she preferred but we're gonna jazz it up just a little bit more just so that it's not so plain so here is what we're going to put first. Now, secondly, we're going to go and make those little frames. So what you want to do is go into a Pixar and you want to choose this transparent background and go to sticker, search picture frame and get this black picture frame right here. Then you want to go to remember what I did. Bro, what the fuck? I don't know why, but when I changed it to this, it gave me the option to do it purple. So that's how I got that. You have to change it to the blue one first and then go back in and then it'll give you the purple option. So that's what I did. And you want to press save. And then what we're going to do is go back to cap cut. And we're gonna add in the pictures that we want to lay over in the beginning on the first side. And we're gonna put it about here. 
drag it out so that it lasts for the entire duration of the clip and then you want to turn it and this can be a little bit hard and I also cropped it so that it can actually fit within the frame so cut down to here to here maybe a little bit more and then you want to press add overlay and then we're going to add in this frame and once again you want to twist it turn it the exact same way that you have the other picture and then drag it out to last the entire duration of the video and this is how it looks so far and make sure that they're coming in at the same time because you don't want one of them to come first and the other to come second. the way that it's coming in looks a little bit plain to me so we're going to add an animation so we're pressing in and I think the animation I chose was swing. So you want to add swing to that one and then you want to add swing to the to the frame as well. And then we're going to do the same thing for the two other pictures. Okay, so next we're going to do her title for her YouTube name. So we're going to go to Fonto. An app. And we're going to press reset. Main images. going to press that. Go to color and turn this all the way down so that it's transparent. And then you press use and add text. So I have a bunch of text that I downloaded from defont.com. It's really easy. You literally just go to defont.com and um, download it, whatever font you want. And then in files, you will send that to Fonto, the Fonto app, and then it goes to this little folder called My Font. Um, so the font that I'm going to be using is called Visual Hollow Script, and her YouTube name is Amanda. Amanda Charnel. Then we're going to go to Style and Stroke, and then we're going to make the background black. We're going to turn up the width just a little bit so that, you know, you can see it a little bit better. And then we're going to go back to style, create color pattern. And I did white and gray just to get that white, gray, just to get that silver kind of effect that she wanted. And we're going to do this purple and this purple. Then go to this, wait, what the heck? You guys, sorry, I'm forgetting to add a different square. So gray, and then we're gonna do this purple, and then we're gonna do this purple. Then you wanna go to horizontal C, and then press vertical, and that's how you get that. Apply, done. Was it? Was that how I did it? Wait, let me go change it around. This really depends on like whatever looks good to you, to be honest. I can literally change this around 20 million times um, until I think that it looks good so yeah you can just move it back and forth to whatever looks good to you probably gonna put this one first no that looks similar then we're gonna press apply done size and this is pretty similar to the one that I did right I think the stroke was a little bit wider, so I'm going to go back and change that. Yeah. So that's that. So we're going to save that and make sure to press save image as PNG so that it doesn't have a background. You don't want it to, you don't want to press save as image because it's going to have a white background on it. And when you import it to cute clips, it's going to be not looking right. And that's not what we want. So the whole entire point of this, of making a transparent background is to not have that background so make sure to press save as png so you don't have to do this all over again and then while we're here i'm just going to do all of the other things that we need so i'm going to enter in her instagram handle so it's also at amanda 
by now. I like to get all the text out of the way whenever I'm doing something. If I know I need one app to do it, like for example, when I cut out pictures, I'll do all the pictures at once so I don't have to keep going in and out. It just helps to get this done faster because just being on your phone, you already have so many distractions when editing and we, we're gonna try to make this as efficient and quick as possible and the font that I used for this was called um, I think it's a C Seagram I think that's what I use yeah So that's what I used and I have I kept the same um, color pattern just so I don't have to keep going in and doing it over and over again and then I'm gonna show you guys what I use for Instagram so I like to put this in all caps and the font that I used was what did I use I think I used lemon milk yeah so and then i save that as well so make sure to once again save this all as png and then what we're gonna do is go back to cute or cap cut oh my gosh i keep seeing cute clip oh my god um and then we're gonna add in another overlay oh we've reached a maximum now so just save this Cause you can only put in about six overlays i think and then we're going to go to new projects add in what we just saved and then we're going to press overlay so we can add in our text oh my god see i don't really like this app too much it glitches a lot it does stupid shit so once again this is really and truly an app that's just good for animations so yeah i'm gonna get our text and as you can see it's the transparent background there's no background at the back and this is exactly how we want it so you want to drag that for the rest of the duration of the video delete this ending and we don't want it to start there I'm also going to add another animation to the beginning of this you guys, whenever I do these types of intros, I honestly just do what I think looks best. I really don't, you know, like I just go off of my my preference. Like if I see something that looks really plain to me and it needs something, I'm going to add to it. So you don't, you definitely do not have to copy everything that I'm doing. But this is just kind of like inspiration for you guys and to show you guys the type of things that you can do on here so i'm going to add shake and i'm going to add that at the beginning just to give it a little bit of something because i don't like how it, it's looking a little bit strange so that just gives it a little bit of something we're gonna And then for the text, we're gonna add an animation to that so it doesn't just, you know, come in. It comes in more plans. So I did zoom too. I think that that looks good. And yeah, so that's it for the first slide. We're gonna save that and come back to it later on now for the second Go slide to photo grid and for this one i used this video and i added it in twice okay so mine automatically went to how i had it before but make sure that it's in 1619 in the dimensions and that the borders are all the way down and then you want to take out this watermark and for this side I got the inspiration from um, that first video the one that she sent me she said that 
she wanted her intro to look like that so um let's go back to that video so i can show you guys in that video it had that little background in the back as you guys can see and it's very similar to this one so we're gonna do it kind of like that and a little bit like mine as well so we're just gonna save this but I want to zoom in just a little bit Top cut and yeah so we're gonna bring this in first of all turn off the volume because that's just gonna annoy me editing this and hearing the volume and then you also want to add an overlay and we're gonna bring in that same purple so that the whole entire video has that same kind of theme of purple so that it's all matching you know if we kind of if we didn't put this purple over it would just be like going from purple to red like you want it to be a nice transition so we're gonna go to opacity and we're gonna turn it down so it's not completely purple, but it's still staying with the theme. And I'll turn it down to probably about here. And make sure you're screen recording it. Go there. Like the pictures. Like the pictures. Like them. And then we stop about here. Stop screen recording. And then once you're done that, you want to add overlay. So to take it again. So here is the screen recording that we just did. Add and I'm gonna start it right about here. So we're gonna press split. And we're gonna drag this all the way up to there. Oh, okay, sorry you guys. So before we do all this, let's make sure that our background is a little bit more lively. So I'm going to add in some effects so that it's not just flat and plain and boring. So what I did for this one, I went to retro and I did snow glitch. So yeah, as you can see, it just gives it more of a lively effect instead of it being flat, plain and boring. And I think I also added something else too. I think I added party, something from party and was it chromatic we're gonna drag that out for the entire duration of the video and then now we're gonna go back to that overlay so here's what we have we're gonna crop this phone background so this is just an iPhone PNG. You can just search it on Google and download it as a PNG. And there you have it. You get the exact same effect. You just have to adjust it to what looks right and make sure you're hiding what parts need to be hidden. Much like my intro, um, we have the iPhone in the middle of the screen, so that's where I'm getting this inspo from. We're going to drag it out for the entire duration, and we're going to end this clip right here. Delete. And make sure that this is matching up. So let's play that for you guys to see. Before anything else, I like to add in the fonts and the important stuff so we can see what we have space for. So I add in the Instagram. You can add this in now. So I just put it up in the top corner. I also found this on Google. You just search up instagram logo purple png social media handle to have an animation so we're gonna go there and we're gonna do zoom we're gonna do zoom one yeah we're gonna do zoom one
okay perfect we're at the max overlay and that's the reason why i like to add in all the important stuff first so we know that we have space for other things because if we were to add in the other things first and then try to squeeze in the social media handles it's just not going to turn out right so we're going to save that and in buzzart i usually use this just to cut out and outline my pictures so it's a picture that i want to cut out and it makes it really easy for you so you just go to cut out and then select person and it pretty much already outlines all of what you want to cut out but you have to be careful because sometimes it'll include outside stuff that you don't want which is really annoying so just make sure to erase it's really hard with this picture because you can't really tell but if you zoom in you can see that there's stuff in there that you don't want and you're able to adjust the size of the eraser and everything and if you erase too much and you can go back or you can restore now press save and that's pretty good so we're gonna save that to our camera roll and then we're gonna go into buzzart and then we want to make it smaller because buzzart does save its pictures with a watermark so a way around that is just to make it smaller and then we're gonna go to outline and up the size we'll make it about like this big so that the purple background is more visible i also got inspiration from the clip that she sent me um in that intro she also had a cutout just like this and we're going to use this this purple and yeah so we're going to save it just like that and i added it to the side right over. next i'm actually gonna put an animation on this because i don't like how it's just so i'm gonna put fade in that just makes it a nicer transition and then at the side at the other side on the left we're going to add some more picture frames so you want to go to pixar again and in pixar we're going to Go to transparent background again. Search up Instagram frame. And then I think I, I use this one. So it's just like the first slide. We're gonna use this picture first or this video. Yeah. I added it in first, the frame. So what you wanna do is go to layers and press three so that it's above the video instead of underneath and then I also added in an animation and I didn't want it to start right away just so that you can see the background of this video first and then it'll come in and then right about there I added in my second overlay so we're gonna do this so that is our second slide and for this for this intro I only did three slides because um, usually the duration of my intros are like 21 to 22 seconds and this one was getting pretty Notice long. Notice how I keep on using the same color purple. You want to consistently use the same color purple so that you know the theme is consistent throughout the intro entire intro and it's like clean, neat transitions because if you use different purple backgrounds and different purple overlays, it's just going to look really really bad so you want to keep that consistency so my intros with this little side so i'll add in one two three videos or pictures and then i add in the subscribe button so that's what we're going to do right now and we're going to add this picture first so you want this to be at the beginning i'm going to put this right up there we're going to put this a little bit further back And then we're gonna put this even further. So let's play that and see how that looks. Make sure to drag it for the entire duration of the video. We're gonna add that again. And then we're gonna go to opacity, turn it down. So we're and gonna then do side left or side right on each of them chromatic but for this one make sure that you go to object 
and put all so that it actually goes above. Here it is. So I added alternative to black and white. And then I put it on all. And that's how I got this effect. You just want to drag that out for the entire clip. And then I made sure to go back to the layers that I added and just adjust them so you can actually see her face. So that is how I got that ending effect. I think that it's so cute, so unique. I haven't seen anyone do that before, so I don't know. And I honestly just came up with this by just like doing random things. A lot of the times I actually don't even know how to remake some of the animations that I do because I literally just add so many different animations together and it just ends up looking really cool so yeah i definitely just recommend to play to play around with the apps and the animations that they have on them because they have a lot of different cool things that you can mix together to make an even better animation so and we're gonna go to video leap and press mixer and then you're gonna bring it right here. Then you're gonna go to Chrome, Chromatic, whatever the hell that says. And then you're gonna take the picker and kind of just drag it down until, you know, the green is not showing. I also screen recorded this, if you're wondering, um, from YouTube. I just searched up uh, subscribe button, animation, whatever, green screen, background, screen recorded it and then i brought it into a video cropper app i cropped it so that it's smaller and i don't have the entire screen recording and then i just saved it like that and that's how i have this and then what you want to do is turn down the intensity just so you don't have that green little background until it looks about right and then that's perfect And then we're gonna go to new projects and we're gonna add in all of those clips that we had. Zero. I think I did that. Yeah, so I pressed zoom to get to the other side and then I'm gonna let that play until we get to the next video. And then we're gonna stop it right there. And on the video leap, it actually has a lot of really great animations. Yeah, so it already that. had a lot of animations, so we didn't have to do too much with it. So yeah, that's pretty much what I did. And this is the entire intro. And I ended it off about right there. And it ended up to be 20 seconds. Um, the first time that I made it, it was like 21, so yeah, obviously because I made it again, it's not going to be exactly the same, but yeah, that's pretty much how I made this intro, and then when it comes to intro music, I always like to choose something that's super, like, not everybody knows about, like a good SoundCloud mix or something, um, something that just... When people hear that song, they know that that is your channel. So make sure to choose an intro song that's very like unique. I yeah. always love channels that when their intro comes on, I can sing along with yeah. it. You know? I really hope you guys got some information off of all of the slides that I just showed you guys. And I hope you guys were able to make your own intro after this. Um, like I said, I will definitely be doing more intro editing and um even non-copyrighted music videos or small youtuber advice videos so let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next definitely make sure to subscribe turn on those post notifications so you don't miss those videos give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and yeah i will see you guys in the next video